The new Warzone map is finally here, and I'm sure a lot of you guys have been struggling on what classes to make. Today, we'll be sharing with you guys the best from ARs, LMGs, snipers, you name it. And we have a special secret class at the end of the video, but let's get into the first one. We're going to be talking about the good old Holger 26 LMG, and this is a very good go-to. For the stock, we're going to be running the Ascent Lord stock for the huge recoil control. The Eagle's Eye 2.5X. This is an optic sight you're going to be seeing used a lot in pretty much every AR LMG. You can still use the Aim Op if you'd like, but it, this is pretty much the best one. We got the good old Holger Vactory Barrel. We got the VT7 Spitfire Suppressor. And of course, the BO52 Grip on their barrel, which is the last one for the huge boost to recoil control. The good things about LMGs is obviously they start with a good mag and, well, they shoot very straight and hit really hard. Next, we're going to be talking about the Striker 9. Now, this is a very underrated SMG in the game. We got the DR6 handstop under barrel for that huge boost in ADS, spread to fire movement speed. We're going to be rocking a 50 round drum because it goes through ammo very quickly with a high fire rate. We have the VLK 7MW laser. A lot of you guys know that from the old Call of Duties. We got the Slate Reflector, and this gun feels like it kind of needs a, a sight. It could be the ELO, it could be the Slimeline Pro, but it feels like it needs one because the iron sight struggles a little bit. And we got the Striker Factory stock. Now, this SMG does recoil a little bit, but you can see it still kills pretty quick and good recoil control. And very quickly, before we go into the next class setups for tacticals, you kind of want to run a smoke grenade with the map being very open. The smoke grenade will help you live and get you out of very sticky situations. Stim also got buffed, so you get that stim boost plus the health increase or the health regen back, which is very nice. So those are the two usually tacticals you want to run for the lethal. Throwing knife for fools, you can only or you can run a frag or a semtex to help you get them out of those, you know, spots where you can't get them out with a throwing knife. Next, we got the pull em yacht, <laughs> if that's how you say it. Uh, for the barrel, we're going to be rocking the Jack Annihilator long barrel. But the reason you're allowed to put this on, first of all, is because you got to put on the conversion kit. This thing makes this thing a beast. And then you can put on the barrel. Next, you can rock the, of course, the <laughs> VT7 Spitfire Suppressor, which is one of the best suppressors in the game. We got the good old BL-52 grip under barrel and, of course, the Eagle Eye Optic Sight. And this is how this thing looks. Uh, yeah, these LMGs seem to be pretty damn OP. Wow. Next, a good old reliable, the Rival 9, one of the best SMGs in the game right now. We're going to be rocking the Rival Clear Shot Barrel for the extra recoil control and bullet velocity slash damage range. This black fire compensator for the huge boost and recoil control. And a big thing about the Rival 9, the main struggle is it kind of kicks too much, right? It has a little bit of too much of a recoil. So we're going to try to combat that with these attachments. We got the 40 round mag. We got the good old Rival Vice Assault Grip. Gives you some boost and recoil controls. Doesn't really have any cons. And then the Marauder Stock. And you're going to see, like, usually this gun kicks a little bit. But when you have these attachments on, it shoots pretty straight, right? You can definitely laser a little bit. Next, the Bass B. This thing is actually a beast, and a lot of people are praising it right now. We got the Bruin Venom Long Barrel. This is a battle rifle, so if you're just wondering. We got the VT7 Spitfire Suppressor, of course, one of the best suppressors in the game. We got the 45-round mag for the extra ammo. The Optic Eagle's Eye, but again, you can run another one if you'd like, or maybe the Aim Op. This one is just really good. And then, for the stock, we got the good old Ravage 20 Heavy Stock. Now, a lot of these guns I'm giving you are going to be very strong and very good because I'm just trying to give you guys the best, of course. And not to talk about the Wasp Swarm, a very, very, very good SMG, especially up close. We got the Ruthless Barrel for the good increase in bullet velocity. We got the Shadow Strike Suppressor, and this is huge because it gives you undetectable by radar. So your, you know, your red dot doesn't appear on the minimap, but there's no cons to it, which is really nice. And in Warzone, red dots are back. So having Suppressor on can be very important. We got the under barrel. We got the skeletal vertical grip. We got the 50 round mag because this thing runs through ammo at a high fire rate. And we have the fortress stock. Now, another thing about this gun, it recoils a little bit with these attachments. It can shoot pretty straight. It still has a little bit of a kick. But you remember, this gun is very, very dominant up close. And that's what you want to aim for. I know this is kind of in the middle, but we got one of the best guns in the game. Probably, if not the best, the DG58 LSW. This thing is a tank we got the woody long barrel we got the vt7 spitfire suppressor i'm probably not gonna get tired of saying that uh for the under barrel we got the bruin heavy support grip a huge boost in recoil control we got the good old eagle's eye 2.5x and for the stock we got the recoil reduction butt plate 
And this thing is probably one of the best, if not the best AR slash LMG in the game. It just has very low recoil and it hits very hard. And I know what you guys are thinking. You're like, app. these guns all look like they have low recoil. Yeah, but that gun, let me tell you, that gun hits hard. Uh, we're going to be talking about the good old, I call it the DMR, but the DM56. This is a marksman rifle, which makes it a little bit interesting. But ever since I used it in multiplayer, I knew this thing was going to be a problem. We're going to be rocking the Prime Lord Heavy Barrel. This is huge boost to build of velocity and aiming auto sway. We got the VT7 suppressor. Oh man, I've said like 10 times already. 40 round mag. We got the Eagle's Eye 2.5X sight. And of course, the Holger recoil pad. Uh, this thing is a single fire. So you can't obviously, you know, you got to tap this thing. But this thing is really strong. It obviously, you know, kills in a couple bullets and it has very, very low recoil. Some of these guns are like weird to use, but I mean, this thing is obviously pretty OP. Next, this is not the Wasp Swarm, but the Wasp 9, just how there's a Striker 9. And this thing has a slower fire rate, but it hits harder and it's considered one of the hardest hitting guns in the game right now. We got the Reckless 90 Long Barrel. We got the Shadow Strike Suppressor again to be undetectable by radar. We got a 40 round mag. We're using a Slay Reflector for this one because one, it, it feels like the Iron Sight's pretty bad on this one. Even though the swarm, you know, it's just the way it is. And two, this gun has a little bit more range and you kind of want to utilize that red dot to your advantage. And we're going to be rocking the factory stock. Now, like I said, slower fire rate, but it hits very hard. Not like super slow, but when you know, when you compare it to the, the swarm that I showed you guys earlier, definitely a little slower, but hits very, very hard. Now let's get into the juicy part, the sniper. One shot kill at any range, and a lot of you guys have been missing that. So if you're looking for a sniper, this is the one right here, the Cat AMR. This thing is a beast, and yeah, snipers are pretty OP, let me tell you. Uh, for the suppressor, we're going to be rocking, or for the muzzle, we're going to be rocking the Sonic Suppressor XL. For the barrel, we got the Zang 34 barrel for the huge boost and damage range and bullet velocity. 50 cal, spire point rounds, again, bullet velocity and damage range. We're going to be rocking the FSS OV laser and the Epermal uh, Quick Bolt. Aims in fairly quickly, as you can see. Nothing crazy. Obviously, if you want to go for those long range shots, get the headshot. But it's pretty good. And now we're going to be talking about the OG Striker, just a regular one. And this is very good for a sniper with a sniper. It's a good support SMG build because the Striker has some range, but it's very dominant. It definitely is a good gun. We got the long barrel for the extra increase into bullet velocity, which is nice on a sub. You want the extra bullet velocity. We're going to rock in this uh, HM Res mod suppressor for the undetectable by radar once again. And you get even more bullet velocity. And yes, you do lose a little recoil control, but this gun has great recoil control. So you don't have to worry too much about that. We got the DR6 hand stop for the huge increase in all mobilities. We got the 48 round mag and the Saken ZX grip for some increases into recoil control without really taking anything out of the way. So this thing is, uh, well, it's pretty far fast. Kills pretty fast. Definitely has some range to it, as you can see. Like, I just mapped that thing, hit every shot. So, it's a definitely a good solid. It's a good um, sniper support, and it's still, like, really good overall. You don't have to use it with a sniper if you don't want to. Next, we're going to be talking about the DG56, aka, like, the FAMAS. It's a burst AR, and it's very good, very underrated, or maybe over... I don't know. People have been uh, liking it a lot. We got the CDG T25 Light Barrel. We got the VTC7, whatever, Spitfire, whatever, Suppressor, the Bruin Heavy Support Grip Under Barrel. Again, these two are, you know, if you struggle to make a class uh, for LMGs and ARs especially, these two are pretty much a go. Like, if you can put these two on, you usually want to, the Suppressor and the, this Heavy Bruin he Support Grip. We got the 60-round Drum, and for the optic side, the good old Eagle Eye. Again, a very low recoil gun. It's a burst, but, I mean, it's pretty damn nice. Uh, I can't lie. And we're going to be giving you guys like a little weird, cool class. This is actually a Renetti pistol, but you can do the conversion kit and actually make it like a pistol slash SMG. I'm just giving you this to you guys in case you wanted to use kind of like a pistol class or something along th those lines. So we're going to be rocking the 50 round drum because it be makes it kind of an SMG. So you need a big mag. The Corvus Series D muzzle for huge increase in recoil control. The FJX for the aiming and sprint to fire. And then the Bruin Onslaught Assault Grip for even more recoil control. So mind you, this is technically a pistol. It turns into like kind of like an SMG with a conversion kit. But you can see it has some pretty good range. It's like almost as good as an SMG, if not just as good in some ranges. And it's definitely solid. And now for the last class, a lot of you guys have been wondering, what is the secret class? 
This is the Fennec 45. Yes, it's not an MW3 gun, but this is considered the fastest time to kill gun, and it's really good up close. So if you want to use something from back in the day, <laughs> AK from MW2, you can. We got the Shadow Strike Suppressor. We got the Skeletal Vertical Grip Under Barrel. We got the good old auto high grain rounds. That's a new, obviously, rounds that you get in MW3 for the high for you know more damage slash bullet velocity. The 45 mag and the agile assault stock. I'm gonna show it to you guys in case you can't see it. And this thing, I mean, is a freaking beast. Let me tell you. And I'm gonna talk very briefly about the perks right quick, just in case you're wondering. So these are the perks I'm currently running. I love double time. I think this is one of the best ones. And sleight of hands are the two best ones you can run from perk one and perk two. Obviously, there's things like EOD and battle hardened that kind of come in handy. You know, sometimes I would prefer 100% keep double time. You can maybe take out sleight of hand for like EOD if you feel like you're getting naded too much or somehow killed by explosives. But these two are definitely the best in my opinion. And then tempered is kind of a no brainer. It's just needing two plates is very good. Another one you can try is resupply. I think tempered and resupply are, are two of the best. Quick fix can be very beneficial, maybe more in like resurgence. Uh, but for BR, like regular BR, I don't think you really need quick fix. And for the last one, there's a few good ones. You know, we're talking about bird's eye, high alert, combat scout, man, ghost. Uh, Resolute's a new one. It's pretty cool that I've tried. Um, I prefer high alert. I feel like one, I'm not popping as much UAVs as I used to. So bird's eye doesn't really come in handy. And if, you know, if someone pops a UAV on me, I'm not too worried about it with ghosts. But high alert kind of gets me. You know more alert obviously in situations and i feel like i can pinpoint enemies easier and quicker so there you have it those are all the best class setups that i just shared with you guys make sure to like comment and subscribe we got more tip videos coming i really want to help you guys improve so make sure not to miss them i hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and i'll see you guys in the next one